Hey, what's up, TouchPix user? This is DJ with TouchPix Support. I'm gonna show you a live video on how to connect your PrintPix box to a USB-C dongle with Ethernet for a wired PrintPix connection. As you can see here, I have uh, my dongle connected to the iPad via USB-C. I have that power device powering up the PrintPix box and the USB cable which runs down the column and it's gonna be plugged into my printer. I also have that black USB on the dongle that controls the DSLR. Again, this is for the wired print pix box method, which is extremely fast and reliable. The method where I'm showing you here is how to change the IP address so you can effectively use the Wi-Fi from your iPad and the ethernet from the iPad without any speed constraints. You're gonna go into the print, print pix settings you're gonna make sure you hit on the IP address and set it to manual. Click on the three dots on the side. Select the first option here to fill your IP address. It essentially changes it to 192.168.11. It used to be 12. If you select the wired method, it will change it. And it'll still let you control the printer. It still lets you control the paper size and it'll still be a quick method of printing. The reason why you wanna do this is so you can use your onboard Wi-Fi from your iPad. You're gonna go into the general settings here on the ethernet tab. You're gonna take a picture of all the IP addresses on the right hand side. From that picture, you're gonna disable that top toggle which says limit uh, IP address tracking and you're gonna copy everything as is with, and leave the router section blank. It's important you leave the router section blank. After you copy your screenshot or your settings into there, you're gonna go into your Wi-Fi. You're gonna see how fast this method is as far as connecting to an external Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go into TouchPix, hit Advanced Tools, go into Network Test. From Network Test, I'm gonna do a speed test so you can see the speed of the internet connectivity. One of the downfalls with PrintPix is that it had low uh, internet connection speed. With this, as you can see, it has fast internet connectivity because you're bypassing the bridge method that the print picks would use. This will allow you to use both for both AI applications for maybe world swap, maybe face swap, any of the new AI features this is an extremely good feature. 